The advent of 5G new radio, or NR, brings new capabilities through the use of time division duplexing, or TDD. Time division duplexing requires both frequency and phase synchronization to enable spectrum utilization, coordinate multipoint, or COMP, minimize interference, and enhanced observed time difference of arrival, or OTDOA, positioning for enhanced 911. But what happens when the 5G NR time division duplexing radios are out of phase synchronization? When overlapping cell sites are not in phase and frequency synchronization, 5G NR services are significantly impacted, such as throughput, coverage area, and quality of service, which may not be detectable or corrected through conventional over-the-air measurements. What makes 5G NR time division duplexing different from frequency division duplexing, or FDD, is all neighboring cells are synchronized in both phase, or time, and frequency. This allows 5G TDD to share the same frequency between cell sites, but utilize different time slots for uplink and downlink channels. When phase synchronization is lost, time slots between cell sites are no longer aligned within the same shared spectrum, resulting in a failure to communicate uplink and downlink data. Wireless operators have adopted time-sensitive networking protocols, such as Precision Time Protocol, or PTP for short, to provide accurate timing and phase synchronization through edge network to each 5G NR cell site. A PTP network consists of Grandmaster Clock generating the PTP packets to Boundary Clock-enabled routing devices. The Boundary Clock routers distribute the PTP timing packets through the edge network to each 5G NR cell site. The benefit to distributed timing throughout the network is that in the event of a failover, another Grandmaster can take over through redundant connections to the Boundary Clock to resume timing and phase synchronization. However, significant problems can occur within the PTP timing and phase synchronization network if not tested correctly. Grandmaster and boundary clock configuration errors and incorrect failover settings can go unnoticed as long as the cell sites are receiving accurate PTP from the primary clock source. It's not until a failover switch or route change due to network conditions causes the boundary clock to lose visibility to an accurate clock source or an unexpected route change resulting in timing errors. In some cases, a Grandmaster clock can support hundreds of 5G NR radios, which may be impacted in the event the route and configurations are not tested prior to turnup. And Ritsu developed six specific test use case scenarios designed to verify the performance and configuration of the edge PTP network timing and synchronization. And Ritsu recommends performing this measurement on the last boundary clock router facing the 5G NR cell site. Each use case utilizes the Enritsu MT-1000A Network Master Pro with an atomic clock oscillator built in as a GPS-disciplined oscillator to execute the measurement while introducing service disruptions at specific points within the PTP network. The test scenarios are recommended when performing turn-up acceptance testing or when troubleshooting provisioning changes and hardware upgrades on the PTP network. The Enritsu automated test procedure is built into the MT-1000A Network Master Pro and accessible for customized input based on user preferences.